So if you will refrain from using your stopwatches, we will attempt the history of jazz in three minutes. Not only did he perform the history of jazz, Duke Ellington is the history of jazz. No other musician had a greater influence on American music. And if you were in his band, you were something special. And if you were a vocalist, you really had to be special. So how did it happen for Kay Davis? A friend dared me to sing for Duke. It was a dare that changed her life forever. Ellington made her an offer right there on the spot. We went to Carnegie Hall, and he called me up. He said, do you remember any memory of Creole Love Call? And I said, I think I did hear that when I was about six years old. And he said, uh, well, this is how it goes, you know. He said, and so I odded away, you know. And he said, okay, you're on tonight. Korea, Carnegie Hall. And I said, what is he talking about? So blue, my heart. And you all of a sudden were in the biggest band in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And for the next six years, from 1944 to 1950, Kay Davis was the voice of the Ellington Orchestra. But her story started back in 1920 in Evanston, Illinois. Since we were black in this little white town in Illinois, we were the only family there. And uh, Evanston was very, very south. It was like living in the south. You could not go to the restaurants. It's unbelievable, but it happened. We went to, we said, well, we're going to fix this. Okay, you were a rebel. Yeah. <laughs> it's what gave her the moxie to think that a complete unknown could get an audition with the Duke. And it's what made him realize she was tough enough to handle it. Ellington's orchestra was the busiest in the world. They played the most prestigious venues and some of the worst. And occasionally performing in places where black performers were not welcome. And the uh, manager came out and he said, oh, this is Duke Ellington and a few of his uh, band members. I don't care no more about Duke Ellington, any other Negro. So we turned around and we ran back to the train. I did. <laughs> My feet were moving. And that was life on the road for the big star, Kay Davis. Yeah, but big star. You couldn't eyes. even eat a meal in the, in the uh -uh. nightclubs that you performed in. No with Duke Ellington, you mm -hmm. were stuck with a can of Sterno and heating up the soup. <laughs> right, you got wow. it. <laughs> that was very interesting. It's, it's good you can laugh. What, what else? So here you were, you had achieved beyond your dream being yeah. with the Ellington Orchestra, yeah. but at the same time, it was the most frustrating part of your life because so. you wanted to use it to soar even higher. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't happen. I think you really hit it right on the button. So it was the best of times and the most frustrating of yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. And that's why... I just gave up. I was so tired, you know. And I didn't want to lose my husband. So I came home and told him, and he said, well, you know, if you, if you make a record on your own, you're going to have to travel all over the country, because then that's what people were doing. And he said, you'd be away all the time. In other words, take your choice. So I took my choice. I stayed home. <laughs> and you've regretted it ever since? No, 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 not at all. It gave me a wonderful life. So I was very happy. And for half a century, the world forgot about Kay Davis, until recently. I couldn't believe it. Nobody paid any attention to me for years, and all of a sudden I'm getting all these trips. <laughs> Kay is one of the final links to the 1940s era band. Old fans are remembering that voice, and new ones are discovering her all over again. In these times, it's, it's wonderful to be remembered, you know? Like, here you are. <laughs> it's fantastic, 88 years old and somebody's still thinking about me as a singer. It's wonderful. In 1950, Kay was at the top. 
Yet she chose family over stardom, and that was some six decades ago, and she's never looked back at what might have been. I had a wonderful life, a wonderful life. Every step of the way, 